busy day in downtown Manchester as hundreds turned out for this year's St. Patrick's Day Parade. The familiar drone of bagpipes filled the air as the parade stepped off just after noontime. This year's Grand Marshal is Manchester native Al Heidenreich, a member of the Ancient Order of Hibernians. Those who braved the brisk weather to watch the parade say they wouldn't miss it. We live for the parades, you know, free entertainment, you know, a lot of people that you'd know, you know, relatives and friends, people we went to school with, love the music, you know. And organizers say they hold their St. Pat's Parade later in March to avoid competing with some of the bigger events in Boston and New York. And just before the parade, more than 2,500 runners blazed a green trail through the Queen City for the Shamrock Shuffle. It's a two-mile race, so the best runners are back at the finish line before you know it. Top finishers this year were Corey Sinot, who clocked in at 10 minutes and 5 seconds, and Mary Clenny, who apparently wasn't tired at all after winning the half marathon yesterday. I did the half yesterday as part of my last 20 mile run before Boston so today I just wanted to do it because I love all of, all of these events obviously. The goal is to break 10 minutes and I ended up running I think 10.05 so I'm happy with that. It's my first race back in about six months so a win is a win. I'm happy with it. And today's race helped raise money for the New Horizons Shelter and the St. Patrick's Day Parade.